Hi, this is Firas Samir from DealingWithWindows.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new Microsoft Windows XP on your laptop or PC. And uh, actually I'm, I'm saying uh, laptop and PC because basically both are the same process. Um, before starting showing you how to install the new Microsoft Windows XP, I want you to remember three important things. The first one is you have to back up all your files located on the C drive because we're going to format the drive in order to install the new Microsoft Windows. Where does those files located? The files located basically on the desktop or uh, my briefcase or my, doc my document folder or uh, at the root of the C drive when you open my computer you go to the C drive, you look there for any important files you might save before. Uh, you just take a copy of all those files to another partition. The second point is you have to prepare the driver CDs for your uh, hardware, like a sound card or DJ. Maybe some of you doesn't know about driver. Driver is a small software has to be installed within your operating system in order to help the operating system on how to deal with the uh, hardware peripherals of your PC or laptop. Those drivers come on a CD um, with the new purchased laptop or new purchased uh, PC that comes on a CD with that uh, purchase. Um, the the third important thing you have to do is uh, you have to set the CD drive as a first bootable device on your PC. How to do that? I will show you on the uh, you can see on my uh, page, the, uh, the same uh, topics page, the how to install the Microsoft Windows XP. This is the CD of Microsoft Windows XP, SP2, which I'm using and I've purchased this CD for several years back. Uh, during the installation process, you will be asked to enter a serial number which is located on the back of that CD. You have to enter it in order to proceed with the installation process. And uh, basically, this is the CD itself. I'm going to put it on my laptop in order to show you how to install the Microsoft Windows X. After inserting the CD into the CD drive, we reboot our PC or laptop in order to boot from the Windows CD we've already inserted. Press any key to boot from CD. You have to press, for example, the Enter key within 5 seconds in order to start the booting from the CD. Now the process is checking your PC hardware, preparing for the installation. And loading some files. Now setup process is asking you whether you want to install new windows or to repair the existing one. Normally, or in our case, we want to install new one, so we'll hit Enter key. And for the licensing agreement, we have to press F8 key from the keyboard to agree and to proceed. The setup detects that the, there is another uh, previous uh, Windows installed already before now, and uh, which is located on the C drive. So it's require us to answer whether we want to um, repair that one or install a fresh one so we will hit F3 in order to install the new Microsoft Windows. My hard drive contains of four partitions previously I divided them. So here the setup requires me to select which partition I want to install the windows. In my case I will choose the C partition and I will hit enter to proceed with the installation. 
because that partition previously I've installed the previous windows so I hit enter to proceed with the installation here to continue setup using this partition press C so we press C to continue and for the format type the process of asking me whether if I want to leave the current partition without formatting or to format the partition so normally we choose the first one which is format the partition using the NTFS file system quick and we press F to confirm that action for the format process we choose the quick format because the normal format reduces the lifetime of the hard disk so when we use the quick format it doesn't affect the hard disk now after formatting the C um, the process is checking the drive C and then start copying the files into the partition C because we've just uh, chosen it to, to install the Windows XP on it and after copying those files which will take some time that's why I'm gonna skip this I'm not gonna make this video boring for you I'll make it quick just to show you how to, for, to format and to copy the files after that it will reboot uh, automatically in order to proceed with the installation automatically after 15 seconds it will be rebooted and after rebooting again the CD will ask you to press any key within the five seconds in order to start booting from the CD we don't have to touch any key just leave it leave it booting from the hard drive in order to proceed with the installation you see here press any key to boot from CD leave it don't touch anything if you press any key within that uh, period of time you will start the installation from the beginning 